Did you know that in Revit you can create image cutouts? And you probably think it's related with the render engine or with the field regions, but I would like to say no, you are wrong if you think like that. And if I just go to the elevation view for example and create one field region, we will be able to see that field region in our elevation view but if i go to 3d view you cannot see that and if you're using some render engine like i'm using nsk for this tutorial you won't be able to see that in that render engine either so how we can create it then for that first of all what we need is diffuse map and then opacity map like those two I created here and just keep in mind that for opacity map what's black is going to be cut out while what's, wi uh, what's white is going to be kept actually preserved on the image and if you would like to support Architezy and get much more in return you can do that by joining our Architezy Plus group that's our Patreon on steroids and you can find the link in the video description and to make that in Revit we need to go to insert app and then you're going to see decals click on this arrow and first of all what we need to do is to create a decal type and i will create one which i'm going to name as o1 and then here for a source i will pick this o1 diffuse for example i will just click ok and then what i need to do is to go here and place decal once it's placed you can graphically scale it or you can just go to, to the properties palette and then scale it numerically as well and of course you can move it and place to the desired position and in this case we have one problem so if i now i'm in a 3d view as you can see if i go to elevation it's the same i will delete this field region and of course if i go to enscape we are able to see our diffuse map but it's not cut it out so let's go back to Revit, let's go back to decal types, so you can click here on decal types or you can select this decal, go to edit type and then you will need to go here to the edit and here you just need to watch closely. You will see the bottom cutouts, here it's set to none, so I will just go to the image file and then for a source I'm gonna pick our O1 opacity map. So if I just go to thumbnail, you will see how it looks like. It's this one. Let's click OK. And boom, <laughs> it's cut it out. Let's go to 3D view. The same thing here. And if I go to Enscape, just wait a little bit. So it's here as well. It's that simple. And by the way, what you need to know is that, for example, if I would like to replace it with, let's say, the other decal, let's take this O4, for example. I can just move it here. Let's see how it's going to look like if I go to Enscape. Here comes that decal. And of course, I have one more here in the model. This one. Let's go to Enscape. You can, once you create a couple of different types, you will be able to switch them uh, in a type selector like you're taking one, two, three, or just picking the type you want. And if you may wonder how I created those trees, they are like watercolor paintings. I'm going to show you now. So first of all, the picture I was using is the picture from Canva. So what I did, I was just uh, downloaded this one as PNG with a transparent background. And then I'm going to open this in Photoshop. So here comes that image open in Photoshop. And just keep in mind that I will select this one let's go to edit type here it doesn't matter the thing that i exported this without the background revit is going to recognize its background if i just go here to the none let's see let's click ok you see that we are going to to get this black so what we need to do is to create cutout in photoshop and in Photoshop, I have this picture opened. As you can see, there is no background. So the first thing I'm going to do will be to duplicate this one. So right click, you can just go here to the duplicate layer or just Control J and it's going to be duplicated. 
Then for this one, I'm gonna place one layer at the top, brightness and contrast. Apply only to this layer, brightness, increase contrast, and let's do the same with saturation. And let's make it to be very dark. In this case, you see when I when I turn off the bottom layer, what's ha what happens? So I'm gonna select all of them like this. And then I'm gonna duplicate it, Control J, and then Control E to merge layers. I can turn off this one. So now, as you can see, we have black, but it's not fully black. So I will first of all go to Channels when all the layers are off. Click on this circle here. Create selection around this black part. And then I'm gonna create mask for this layer. Then let's create one more layer. I'm gonna paint it in a white color, for example. So this is how it looks like. I will actually need to go to paint it in a black. And what I need to do is to select mask and then control E to make this mask inverted as well as this picture inverted. So control E to the mask, control I, not control E, control I to the mask, control I to the image. And this is how it looks like. And I will hold control, I'm gonna select our mask and I'm gonna take brush tool, white color, and I'm gonna paint, paint it white here. So I'm gonna paint it white in a mask and I'm also going to, my apologies, I need to be in a white color. So I'm going to paint it white in a mask and I'm also going to paint it white in the image here and let's let's deselect it and as you can see we just have those two spots so i'm gonna i will need to fix it first of all i'm gonna fix that in a mask i don't want to have this grayish color and i'm gonna fix it here as well in the image and let's go here and repeat the same thing and do the same for, for the image. Control zero to fit it. And then I'm gonna go to the export, export as and I can, it doesn't matter in this case, if you are going to export it as DWG, as PNG, it's really up to you. So just go to export, save it here, and that's it. You are done. If you would like to level up your Revit skills, just watch this tutorial. And keep in mind that we also have a free Revit community and training. The access link is in the video description.